Hi, this is Winnie. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to tackle on creating an SMS based application using Java language. In this series of tutorials, we are going to create a software that will be communicating over by SMS. Uh, it is a step by step tutorial that guides you throughout the whole process. So, before we start, I'd like to point out some requirements that you will need so that we make it uh, we make this uh, creation a success as we go on, you realize that uh, it is a step by step but this being the introduction we start by taking the requirement the first requirement and as we go on we shall be requiring more and more requirements but now all we need is a java jdk 7 touch to bits I choose this one because of its compatibility. When you choose Java 8 or higher version, you're gonna have you will have some problem in the future. So make sure you have Java JDK 7 touch to build so that we you avoid other uh, incompatibility issues. But once you're through and you've learned the whole steps and you can troubleshoot the such areas, you can use whatever JDK you want. Then make sure you have an 8 bin 7 also touch to build so that the two can uh, communicate they are compatible well also make sure you have a uh, uh, office installed in your computer so we, we in this we are going to use access so that's the purpose of office make sure access is installed and it's running so other files that we're going to need is the library file that will be allowing us to communicate with the access so once you have all these you can uh, once you have all these installed we are good to go and we can start with our project okay i'm assuming you have followed all the steps and everything is set you have the java netbeans running on a machine jdk of course netbeans will not run without jdk so if you have netbeans means jdk is in so once you have all that we are good to go okay another thing that uh, will require you to to have is a, a, a file this file sms uh, sorry sms time limited okay this is a sample data you can create anything in access so well, before we go on go to access or maybe you can uh, drop your email and i'll send you this file for the purpose of uh, learning so as you can see in my um this access there are two tables so you can create just one table it doesn't matter and inside here it has several tables and that has rows as you can see that's not so so important okay um but uh, if you have issues with that you can drop your email and i'll send you the file as soon as possible so start your uh, need be inside the e 7.21 Okay, as we wait for it to run. Then it takes time. Okay, okay, and here is our our elements seven point two one IDE. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we create a new project because we uh, we're going to start from scratch so java make sure it's java application click here is next uh under this java application the name uh since we're doing the java sms i'm going to give it java sms uh, make sure this uh, create menu class is unchecked that we don't want we don't need this class so just make it we'll create our own classes before we are going to deal with the user interface once you have that uh, you've created uh, that uh, you come to the source packages and the source packages create a new package we need a new java package and at the java package uh, we extend a little bit and stop moving it and zoom it a bit so on a java package we're going to call it uh, our java package uh, 
new I'm going to call it um, Java SMS package which is pack oh, sorry sorry pack finish when you through with that pack we create a new J frame I'm going to call it um, Java SMS uh, User this is where the user will be interacting with them. And then we are good to go. So once you have all those installed, you you have it all that is installed. So we have our user interface here. This is where we design our own form. It's called to look like that. You need to add some panels. You need to add two panels for interface design purposes. That's the first uh, panel. Okay, a bit. No, I'm good. Then I'm going to add the second panel here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So uh, once I have those two panels on to edit here, the properties to design it. So go to properties, either like click properties, border, just bevel, and here just put on done. Deal with the colors, do not worry about the colors, just leave it alone, leave it the way it is. Then I want to preview our, our phone. And as you can see, this uh, phone look, it looks like it is inside it. That's basically the idea. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, to, check, to add a table, table where it will be getting information from the access database remember we are still using access but as we going on we are going to use access and even mysql but as for now we are going to use access database so once you have the table we might need some uh, menu add a menu bar So we have a menu bar and um, here's our menu bar, of course it will come in file, in the edit. Okay, basically this is what we, are, we need. So we need to change the variables, like for example the table. Let's change the variable name and call it something good like Java SMS table. Java SMS table, as you can see I'm using a series of uh, the same name. So under file here, we're going to uh, um, add a palette. We need to add a, some many items. We need to add an item. And that is, you're going to change its variable and call it view data. So from this item, then it's going to view. Once you click here, going to.